the sagittal, well, that's what we're going to talk about mainly today, right? We, in, we've talked about how, obviously, that's to correct the smaller mandible or more protruded maxilla. The way to do it is surgery, if it's an, a, a surgical case, if it's beyond the limits of what we can do orthodontically. And if you want to have some guidelines that can tell you an idea of whether this patient is surgical or not, these are, are numbers that we consider that beyond these, it's surgical. So if you have an overage of more than 10 millimeters, I find that here there are, there are differences between clinicians. If you use functional appliance, there are people who say, oh, I can at least reduce this and, and then correct, reduce it with functional appliance and then do orthodontic treatment. I find that such a big overjet for you to correct it non-surgically, I don't know what's happening with the conduct. So if you're trying to bring that mandible forward, even if it, the mandible still has a potential to grow and the conduct for it to grow, I don't think it's able to grow all the way, no matter what functional appliance you use, no matter how long you leave it in. And at the end, you're forcing the patient out of the fossa and that is putting them in a situation for potential TMD in the future. And I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it in adults for now 20, 30 that come to me with headaches, with the pain, muscle, etc. And And when you actually analyze the case, their mandible wants to be further back, but they were corrected into class one, posturing forward, and now they're feeling the symptoms at 16, they did it because they're young, they're adaptable, they're, they, they, they adapt to that. <laughs> what else? Pogonium and perpendicular, right? So, and perpendicular is going through nasium, down, right? And fall, falling through uh, pogonium, so, so falling, if it's perpendicular, it goes down, you measure the distance to pogonium, and so if it's more than 18 millimeters, that means the pogonion is really far back. You know, that's something that the best way of addressing it would be to do a surgery because then you're also going to include your fi the facial profile, aesthetics, etc. <coughs> what else? Gonion, pogonion distance. So gonion is over here, pogonion there. The distance, that means how long the mandible is. Very short mandible. No matter how low, how much you bring it forward, it's never going to look perfect. It's a very short mandible. Surgery would be best. Sorry, <coughs> I have a bit of a cough because I've had a cold. I'm getting out of it. So, facial height. Facial height more than 125 millimeters. Facial height would mean would mean here. Um, do we have an increase uh, of the facial height? So, do we have some rotation of the mandible? Or is the patient very long faced? Then, when it's extreme. It might be a better approach to do the surgery to be able to correct that as well and reduce the vertical. But nowadays with skeletal anchorage, we're able to correct more severe cases that normally would be surgery by, for example, intruding the posterior to skeletal anchorage, the mandible cannot rotate it, you can decrease the vertical dimension. 